All right, welcome back to the career build series, Lightning Q, right on time. Uh, this is episode 91. Um, so in the uh, last episode, started building a new barge um, to increase the ability to do fuel trading. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to work with that. Um, let's open up the map here and see what we're up to. So uh, currently it's by cake, so um, ended over at the military base with a rescue, went over here uh, last episode, built the new barge. New barge is very simple um, and has a nice uh, large capacity for uh, fuel trading. Uh, one thing we're going to need to make sure we take with us is a cable um, to be able to connect to the barge. Um, as you see, we have 162,000 there. We're going to eat up some of that for uh, launching vehicles. But we're going to come up here. Um, I'm going to put Virgil on autopilot up to about here. And then I'll manually go under the bridge put video up on autopilot here. So I'm going to go AFK and just kind of let you guys watch at times as it transitions. Um, if I come back, you know, kind of talk some theory, talk some numbers. But um, let's uh, let's get underway and then we can do some of that on the way. So let's uh, look in here. Let's get uh, Brigio. I think what I'm going to do is the new barge here, I think I'm going to add the cable onto the barge. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, Let me grab it in this color here. Um, and so what I'll do here is I'll put it below the um, below this power takeoff. So essentially that's just a plug in there and that will allow me to um, hook that up. So I don't have a generator on this or anything. Um, it runs off a battery, which should be fine, but um, we can hook it to Brizzo and that will allow for uh, more continuous operation. So let's grab Brizzo. There we go. Let's spawn this in. And uh, I'm going to try to jump. I'm going to miss it 100%, but... <laughs> yeah, it's right off of where I need to be. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going. Um, a lot of this is going to be transit time, so... All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna brace the fact that I have flying on just to expedite. Um, that's one of the reasons I did it was to be more expeditious. So let's go ahead and let's grab the new barge here. Hopefully everything's set up there. I'm gonna fly in. I just want to make sure 100% that nothing's kooky going on here, like water inside. Okay, good. Um, you see how nice and high it sits because it is um, empty. So you know barges generally don't. It, to my understanding, again, I'm no expert in uh, naval architecture, but uh, my understanding is barges generally don't have water ballast. Uh, they don't need it where ships will because they have superstructures. They need to worry about rolling. Where the barges tend to be very square, very, um, very have a large uh, wide beams compared to their lengths. And so you tend to get, you tend not to need to have um, water ballast to weigh them down. And the benefit of this is we can take a really nice light barge out um, and then fill it up and it will um, sink. I'll start going nice and gently to get the slack in and start moving us here. And once we have the slack up, I'm going to kind of gun it. Let me see where we're at here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to come up here, set the waypoint for about, I think, here. And then as I pass through, that will give me a nice straight path. So. That should be path of least resistance, I think. Looking like a good speed. Looking like we're gonna be able to get 10 knots with the empty barge. The full barge is gonna be heavy. Um, so the plan is head up here, go across, fill up with uh, diesel, drop the diesel off here, um, come down, you know, this will probably be multiple videos, but uh, come down, get oil, bring the oil up here, sell the oil, at that point, we'll have a good chunk of money go buy this island, and the barge can be spawned and live at that island. That will um, that will give us a base of operation. We can also build on this island. I've really been looking forward to. I've yet to actually build on one of the islands and build our own base. So um, the plan is to kind of make that a base of operations or an optional base of operations, and also I really kind of want to build us a cool house, and I want to build a helipad that we can leave. Katie did. Uh, maybe a garage for a uh, ground vehicle. 
So stuff like that would be really cool to uh, get into. I think that's enough cable out. Yep. Um, in real life, they'll often let these bar let the cable way out on these barges, um, especially in big seas. That kind of almost acts as a shock absorber, so it um, cable will go up and down with the um, heave of the sea. So we're down to seven knots. Um, yeah, not terrible, not great, um, but it will. Um, you know, that will get us there. Um, we don't need screaming speed. Everybody wants speed, I understand that, but we're able to haul huge amounts of liquid, uh, you know, valuable cargo that will net us a lot of money, so um, I'm not really concerned about the speed. Um, you know, if we had to do three runs with a much smaller speed, that would um, probably cost us more money than uh, just doing this one run with a very, um, you know, with more uh, volume. So the barge doesn't look all that impressive, but it is hauling, wow, five times. It has a max capacity of five times the other barge. So that's really, um, that's pretty good. That's going to get us where we need to go. Let me turn this, see if I can turn. So there's that uh, big barrier island there. I think we're aiming somewhere on the inside of that. Um, yep, so we should be, be uh, see, we're just to the left of TT. That's good. Um, so we're coming around the corner here, so that should take us right up there perfectly. All right, so that's set. I'm going to go, I'll be going AFK, coming back, doing stuff like that. Um, and kind of let you guys watch. I'm waiting, you know, I was waiting on a video to edit. And that is, um, as usual, that will probably end up popping up. It auto plays after, <laughs> so probably end up hearing that. We're headed right to TT Island. I don't know why. I don't want that to go right to TT Island. How is this? Am I over here that much? Let me bring this up over here a little bit more. Oh, I, I don't think I've even entered in the waypoint. I didn't enter in the waypoint. That's doing the default waypoint. Um, I gotta actually come to the right a little bit, I think, here. Just wanna make sure this will uh, kinda go on its own for a little while and not be a problem. Yep, so that's looking good. Um, maybe it could even go a little bit more right. That's actually where I want to be because I want to go straight and not run in this island. So that's pretty good there. That's going to take us right where we need to go. And that's going to be 50 minutes. So, yep, it's a long haul. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll kind of just let this sit. Um, you know, I've, I've contemplated fast forwarding through some of these. Um, I might test out, you know, a fast forward mechanic. I, d I don't know how to do it yet. I'd have to check out the editing equipment and see what's what I have to do to do that, but you can also speed up the YouTube um, if if you don't like these long, drawn-out sections. Some people like them, some people don't, so I'm kind of, you know, at a little bit of a, you know, crossroads of how people want it done, you know. If you want to, you know, like generally what I'll do is kind of zoom it out here, and you can kind of see me uh, traversing the area, um, and you kind of watch it, um, but, you know, kind of a time-lapse would probably be kind of cool, too, so I'll figure it out at some point, but um, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Um, and let this run. We'll see you then. All right, checking back in here. See where we're at. Alright, so let's try to just decide where we are. We're, that's the, um, turn my nav lights. Alright, so that's this island right here, so we're probably about here where the cross is, at, where the X mark is here, so let's look. So about 30 minutes to go. So I think I'll go back AFK and let this uh, just kind of run. Let me go ahead and make sure that door's shut. It is. Alrighty, let's go back in and let us progress here. All right, so we're coming back up here on the next waypoint. About a minute away from the waypoint, I'm just going to take this system off for now. Keep us running. And then I'm going to take us under the bridge, and then I can put a waypoint up here to get there. So let's see, we're talking uh, about, uh, you know, it's going to be, what, an hour? Up, oh, I have to enter it. It would be helpful if I entered it. There we go. 
Yeah, so it should be minutes. Uh, yep, so another 50 minutes. So this is slow moving. Um, you know, presently we're doing seven knots, so that's not bad. Um, you know, if I took one of my larger tugboats, or eventually we make a tugboat, hopefully we'll get, um, we could get double that, that would be nice. You know, the benefit with a tugboat is it can't, can't go screaming across the ocean at uh, 45 knots like Rigeau can, but it can, uh, when it's towing, it can still maintain speed uh, while towing, so that's, uh, that's uh, positive. So, let's go ahead and let's get this moving. Um, this might actually thread the needle through there alright by itself, let's watch. So I'm going to do a little bit of a preemptive save here. Alright, that way uh, if something happens, we don't lose an hour's progress. So again, slow going, but um, this is big money time, and you know, with this plan of getting up in here, uh, doing a diesel run, doing an oil run, should be able to buy this island. That's going to really cut down on the cost on the time. So, this is looking at like two hours to go from here to here. You know, it makes sense. That's probably about 14 nautical miles. We're going seven nautical miles. That makes perfect sense. That that's about two hours. We're cutting all that off. All right. So when we can finally spawn in here, you know, that's going to be minutes to here. You know, maybe I don't know. 30 minutes here at the most, probably. Uh, maybe a little longer, depending on how heavy the barge is full. And that's going to allow us to do, you know, in the same t amount of time it takes us to get from here to here to do nothing, should be able to go here, do an oil run, do a diesel run, and get back in, the, in about that amount of time. So that really adds some, uh, some time savings there, makes our fuel runs a lot um, better and more efficient. So, kind of looking forward to that. What is this down here? This must be the, uh, yeah, that's the refueling plane down there. But so that's, um, you know, I think that's a good reason why that's the plan. I think that really gets us in the, um, really gets us in the area where we can make some good money. And then once we have some money, it really gives me the freedom to do whatever, whatever I'm feeling like doing. And that's, uh, that's the benefit of the, having that money is just, Whatever kind of interests me at the time, I can do. Um, and then, you know, these distances are very long and time-consuming with, you know, a boat going seven knots. But, you know, once we're there, uh, hopefully be able to, um, you know, I could lo easily launch the Katie did on top of a barge. Um, and, you know, and I'm going to put a helipad there. I can leave Katie did outside. We'll be able to get back and forth and... Um, you know, go do some missions, um, you know, and, and kind of transfer from base to base pretty quickly. Plus, even if taking Frigio by itself, uh, just 45 knots. So, you know, we're talking, what, you know, six times the speed. So it take a sixth of the time to get across um, that distance by just bringing the boat. So let's go ahead and we'll watch the barge, make sure the barge gets through all right. All right, barge is going straight through, no problem. Let's put the... Uh, Autopilot back on. All right. So that's handling it well. And then, uh, so let's see when the next one is, and I'll uh, either fast forward or whatever I'm going to do. Take another 50 minutes to get there. Yep. So, say about 45 minutes at the best case scenario. 
it's uh, you see it's only you know six six uh, nautical miles, but because of the slow speed tow and a large barge, um, you know it's going to take us a little while. So I will check back in with you guys when we get there. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the exterior view, kind of like it, um, kind of see it uh, trundling along, getting out towards where we need to go. And I'll uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. Finer Island. So this is good. Let me do one quick save here again. All right. So uh, coming in with the new barge. This is a beautiful time of day to be coming in. Fortunately, I don't think I can get the barge with the field of view that low. off. All right, so um, coming in here again, the plan is to fuel up diesel and head up here. Um, see how much diesel we can buy. We have, what are we talking, 35 cents. So it's 52,000, uh, a little bit over 52,000 to fill it. So I think we shall do that. Um, let's fill it all the way up. I'm going to start pulling it in. So the new simple barge is, is nice. Uh, it should give us some a uh, little bit more efficiency with this, a uh, little bit of ease.
just keeping an eye on the cable back there. Uh, I don't want the barge to get too close to me. Alright, so let's start turning in. So again, about 50 grand to buy, and it will net us about, I think, a little less, yeah, about, about 50 grand in profit, so, um, you know, not bad um, to do. This This run should be short. What I'll do is I'll kind of go with the same thing. I will start loading this up, um, and then we'll break for the next episode. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see how far this is. That is three nautical miles, so it should take me about um, about a half an hour to get there. So, seeing this one will be just fast forward bits on this one, but uh, this one on the longer side will. Um, next one a little shorter I think. Oh, let me check, make sure this isn't right behind me. Alright, so that's uh, still a good distance behind me. I'll kind of see if I can watch over my shoulder what it's doing. Alright, let's give it a look. So that should be uh, coasting right to a nice stop there. Uh, let's check our fuel on the, um, let's check our fuel here. Yep, we're uh, about, we burned about two-thirds. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, uh, first thing I'll do, just so that I don't forget, is I will refuel the Peugeot, if I can get up the staircase. And actually, this higher uh, barge makes it a little bit easier to get on and off, so that's... Okay, so that needs to be... Um, just needs to be reversed. These doors start in the closed position. Alright, so I want... Um, I'll put 200,000. That way, that will allow us to uh, fill to 100%. Um, this is going to be the cheapest, cheaper of the legs, because this is... Um, you know, the diesel's very cheap, so uh, I can afford to go 100%. So I'm gonna start hooking this barge up. Just, this is just gonna take the longest, and then the uh, I'll fill up Rigio before I um, hook up the third. Ooh, I'm gonna fly so I don't end up glitched into something. Let's start the pump here. Let's get moving on that. Right. And I'm gonna make sure this is pumping it is, so we have, uh, as you can see, we're filling, so that is working. So let's grab this last one, and I'll fill up Rougeau, and then um, that will get us all set there, so I don't forget to refuel. So that is something I often do. Oh, okay, the lights. <laughs> I thought the, with the smoke, I thought when the lights came on, we were in fire, and I got real nervous, very nervous very quickly. So um, there we go get this filled and then I think I'm gonna connect the um, electrical cable uh, keep that barge powered you keep the powered enough that those valves um, stay open
be going down, so uh, I'm afraid that it will hit. But it's going well, so uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Next video, we're going to go from here up to here and sell our diesel. Um, take about half an hour. I, I'm going to play around uh, you know, with this, this video, try to do fast forwarding of the travel time. So I'll probably do that there. If I do do fast forwarding, maybe I can make this one episode that be quicker. All right, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.